You are now a professor at Supervillain University. What course do you teach? Costume design for beginners. How to capture the hero and then strategically let them go with them thinking they escaped but you not being in any danger at all since the hero's gotta make a living and so do you. And. Hench people loyalty. A class for beginners. Maniacal laughter for beginners. Mental gymnastics. How to believe you're actually the good guy. Interior design. Putting the flair back in your lair. I would teach, long-winded plan divulging monologues that allow the hero's time to stop the villain at the last second 101. Logo designs for fear and recognition 201. Prerequisite is choosing your companion animal aka do I have allergies? 100. Mad science 101 you're not a mad scientist without a diploma without it you're just an irritable lab assistant. I'd teach 99 different ways to say, you and I are not that different, to the heroes. Just kill him already. Time management for supervillains. Sarcastic put downs for your sworn enemies. Advanced hands 201. Finger arches, dramatic pointing, and sweeping gestures. Ethics and henchmen hiring and work conditions. Evil lair building workshop. Anti-nuclear activism. You can destroy the planet while claiming to save it. What could be more evil? Ethics and supervillainy. Why you don't have to be a bad guy to be a bad guy. Okay. So I run counseling groups for perpetrators of domestic violence and anger management. I feel like I already have the core criteria for a class. How to work within the system without hurting people. Because it's actually much easier for you. We'd talk about how it's important to not go 100% villain all the time. You should still offer your henchmen good insurance, and file everything with the feds. It's hard to take over the world, while being audited is all I'm saying. I would invite Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz for guest lectures. Evil Empire Finance make your money work for you. Grooming your lap cat. What is something free from the internet, which everyone should take advantage of? Wikipedia. We take that site for granted, big time. There are few things in this world that do not have a Wikipedia page. People have dedicated hours, days, even their entire lives, to filling the site up with all the knowledge one could ever need. All that information is free. Want to learn about the history of the escalator? Wikipedia has it. Interested in the Civil War? You bet you can find it on Wikipedia. Wikipedia will not be around forever, folks. Use it while you have it. Read random articles. It's fun. Online courses and guides. The fact that you can learn anything for free at home, is amazing. Like 40 years ago, you had to actually pay for lessons and go away from your home. Nowadays you can do everything online. Want to learn knitting? You got it. Want to learn to speak a foreign language? You got that too. Want to study for an upcoming test? You can, but you probably won't. Dot. Isn't the internet just amazing? Duck duck go. Removes political filters and echo chambers from your searches. Adblock. Top ask Reddit posts from the past which people like you can repost so that you can get a lot of upvotes and awards. Find out where people both famous and non-famous are buried. Read what's inscribed on their monuments, read obits, and see comments posted by viewers. Find a grave can also be a helpful site for doing free family genealogy and locating where people have been interred that you lost touch with over time. Free open source software. There are great free alternatives out there for lots of paid software. Slightly controversial but library genesis. Almost every science textbook you could ever want for free. However, you're not compensating authors, publishers for their work, so the morality is debated. But if you want access to knowledge for free, there it is. I haven't ever encountered any issues like viruses either. The high seas are amazing. Free RAM downloads. Amazon Smile same as Amazon but buying through Amazon Smile donates money to a charity of your choice. No charge to you. Ad blocker and cookie blocker. Has a wide selection of icons. I use them for presentations. Porn. There is either nothing here or just this link. Knowledge. We have come to a point in our lives where everything is a Google search away. You need to know some food recipes, how to fix something, how to do something, and even learn trade skills that you could use for getting a job or ways to invest or start your own business. So many opportunities and everything is just out there. But instead we choose to just look at memes, funny videos of people beating each other up, listen to music, and watch other videos that don't help us at all. Discord. I know three websites to make school easier. Symbolab.com. Type in any math problem and it will provide you with steps to solve any answer. ptable.com. Website for chemistry, periodical table, 
user-friendly website to analyze any element from the table in detail. Prepostco.com. Rewrite any article with ease. This Ask Reddit thread is sponsored by Honey. Wolfram Alpha. IDK if it's already been said but Wolfram Alpha was a lifesaver for checking answers when taking Calc 1-3 in college. Definitely useful for all sorts of answers, but answers for science and math questions, it's great. If I was trying to learn Japanese 20 years ago I wouldn't have had half the resources I do now.